Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Dog Walk, the almost daily one-take, uncut, unedited show where I take usually my dogs out, but it's cold again today, so it's just Mista for their evening walk while talking a little bit about myself and about whatever's been on my mind for that day. Today's going to be actually a very quick episode because as I'm walking, I just realized that I forgot to put real pants on and I'm wearing my pajama pants. So um, it's already chilly, so I will limit myself. Uh, What I wanted to talk about today were several different ideas that I have about space and how we could better utilize it and more importantly, uh, get there more energy efficiently and with less materials. But uh, so, you know, Elon Musk, if ever you're, you're listening, <laughs> give me a call. And yes, of course, I'm kidding. But uh, I, I'll, I'll limit myself to the least ambitious one of my ideas because I don't have a lot of time before my legs freeze. Um, I was, uh, it's, there's been an idea floating around for several years now I want to say at least 10 if not 15 years and I think it was actually a project that the Japanese space agency was looking into for a while this idea being of uh, capturing uh, basically making tethers to capture space debris if you don't know space junk is a huge problem for humanity we are putting tons of stuff in orbit and it's affecting not just the ability to launch new things into orbit like right now i think half the satellites on the planet uh, uh, orbiting the planet are belong to starlink so elon musk again is one of the main contributors to to space pollution believe it or not but uh, it, it's a huge problem so the japanese uh, years ago floated this idea of using kind of giant space nets and tethers to catch satellites and space junk and bring it back down and burn it up by in re-entry. In fact, that is supposed to be standard practice for most satellites. They are supposed to keep enough fuel. This time we're going this way. We're taking a short one today. Uh, most satellites are supposed to keep enough fuel so that at the end of their useful lifespan, they basically just burn the rest of their fuel to deorbit themselves and burn up in the atmosphere. Now that's great, but it doesn't get rid of all the space junks, whether it's you know nuts and bolts that fell off or that were used in launch systems and things like that. Space junk keeps accumulating and it's going to be more and more of a problem as we put more and more stuff up and rely more and more heavily on space so how can we address this problem i think that we're looking at it the entirely wrong way we need to stop trying to get stuff out of orbit and just like right now on the planet we're trying to find ways to recycle we need to do the same up there what the, what i mean by that is instead of trying to deorbit everything because we're we're leaving useful fuel useful metals and materials composites circuit boards all of that good stuff we're leaving it up there and our only idea on how for it to be not a problem for us is to destroy it like that's so human of a solution i think we can do better i think especially with the advent of 3d printers and once we are able to build more 3d printers that are able to use more than one material there is no reason why we shouldn't be able to basically create one giant or or many smaller foundries in space that go and scoop up whatever space debris there is 
process the raw materials and then transform that into usable things up there whether it is building space the the, the raw skeleton of space habitation modules because Elon wants to fund his space tourism venture and he doesn't want to spend all that money on bringing up the space module up there or he doesn't want to be limited by the size of a a space launch rocket that severely limits the diameter and i know you can use inflatables and all that to to bolster the diameter of what you are sending up but you are still limited by the the launch vehicle so how like we would be able to do away with all those limits and create actual mega structures in space if we built the stuff in space so let's stop trying to destroy things up there to get rid of them and let's solve our space pollution problem by actually capturing the stuff and using it in place to build it's the best way that we have right now to build infrastructure in remote locations i've been to cfs alert the northernmost inhabited place in the world about 800 kilometers from the north pole trust me it is a huge effort to get stuff up there and it's extremely costly and we're talking about something that's remote but still on the planet so imagine when we're talking about things that are up there up in space right so we would be able to save so much misra come on it's super cold sorry to pull on you but i really need to go uh, yeah we would be able to save so much resource this isn't so much money and we would be able to do away with so many of the current limitations in space design if we found a way to reuse what's up there as opposed to destroying it it takes so much less energy to maneuver around once you're already up in orbit compared to where compared to getting something up to orbit and the technologies are emerging whether it's with ion drives or other things like that that would are so even nuclear drives would be so energy efficient that you would be able to expand that fuel that energy in order to go capture what's up there and bring it back to your processing center break it down with solar panels that aren't limited by the absorption of the solar radiation that our atmosphere does and therefore that could be much more efficient or provide much more energy for surface and we would be able to do a lot there i think i've summarized that idea or talked about that around that idea enough i'm not going to keep going because i want to go back home it's cold and normally I do since I have another minute or two normally I do talk about myself a little bit at the top of this show but I'll do it uh, at the end now at the conclusion I guess since Mr. really wants to smell everything um, who am I well or what are my qualifications to, to be saying things like that I guess all I'll say is that I graduated from my double major in computer science and space science in 2005 i've been a space fiend ever since i've worked at the canadian space agency and i've been working in the military aerospace domain for almost 23 years now so those are my qualifications that's where i my ideas come from and uh, let me know what you think if you had the resources, do you think it would make sense? And like I said, I have many other space-related ideas that would save everyone a lot of money, time, and effort. But I'm out of time for this talk, so thanks for listening, and have a good one.